Hi everybody and welcome to this week's edition of Diving Deeper. I'm here once again with Pastor Dave. Pastor Dave, good to have you here. It's great to be here again with you Ernie and with our online congregation joining us today. Very much so. Uh, today we have a jump back into our series on John Wesley and the early roots of the Methodist Church. And uh, today's sermon, you, you, know, you kind of touched on you know a couple different areas. Um, you know, you definitely highlighted the steps, you know, um, I know you and I have talked about it, but you also kind of expressed that in your sermon about how John Wesley himself was keen on taking steps to progress yes. in yes. faith. And, and um, one of those, I think, was just really, you know, how to build a life with God or in God's presence. And, and one of those was really kind of a form of taking stock, yes. if you will, by yes. self-examining or, 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 you know, answering questions or asking each other questions. And taking stock of your lives and so that was something that was you know very uh, prevalent in the early days of the church but I guess I was curious of you know how would that work today sure and if it you know if we did do that you know how does that benefit us sure sure it, and it turns out it, it is a long-standing tradition in the church uh, when Wesley would preach and these large crowds would come to hear him um, he realized that after the revival meeting happened after the preaching happened people were kind of on their own and and, and that's not what he envisioned and, and so he began to organize what what he called these methodist class meetings so groups of 12 people would begin to meet they'd have to meet every week it was kind of like like a small group it, i mean it really was mm -hmm. and and the agenda was was pretty simple um and wesley constructed a set of questions that people had to answer and and he got this from his catholic um ancestors actually um some of it comes from saint ignatius of Loyola, um, mm. probably a couple of centuries uh, b before John Wesley, and but this idea that you do kind of a, a moral examination of yourself, a taking stock of your of your life of faith and mm -hmm. and your life in God, and and. You can either do that privately, but but we all know that when we we do things just on our own privately, we can we can take shortcuts. You know, <laughs> we we may not take the question to to the fullest extent. Um, there, there's not the chance for somebody to to ask us some follow up questions. Uh, and so, what was part of the genius of this method was you do it in a group. And mm -hmm. and and I mentioned some of the questions in the sermon. And they're like, there are some that are like, you know. I don't know how you'd like to be asked this, but you know, what, what temptations have you met with this last week, and 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 how did you overcome them? <laughs> but but that also implies like, well, well, maybe I didn't overcome all of them. Maybe some of them I'm, I'm still I'm still struggling sure. with. Or or what I think was you know certainly one of the toughest questions is, um, do you want to be told of your faults? Mm. Yeah. And most of us would say, I I certainly don't think so. <laughs> right. I'm not I'm not looking. To, I I think I know my faults pretty well. But but the remarkable thing was taking stock like this as people took these steps it, with, within a group of other, other believers and, mm -hmm. and they were probably people like themselves struggling with life's issues and so on. Not only was there a, a place of, of accountability, but a place of, of, of loving support mm -hmm. for help with, if you were struggling with some temptation and maybe it had to do with, with, with drinking, maybe it had, had to do with, with stealing, maybe mm -hmm. it had to do with not being as faithful to your, to, to your spouse or faithful to God. Mm -hmm. and, and when you have to answer that in a group of people and, and grapple with that, I think you take that very seriously on the inside as, as well too. And it's like, I'm going to have to come back next week and face whether I got better or worse around this. Sure. So, so God was working in those questions. That, that sense of examining ourselves, taking stock of ourselves, has is, is long been a powerful, a powerful element in Christianity. So do you have a place where you could take stock of yourself? That's what we ask ourselves. Are there others who you can trust to help you take stock of, of, uh, uh, of your faith and your life with? And uh, it's helpful if we have somebody we could do that with. Very true. I know that you and I have talked about, you know, we have our, our high neighbor groups that, right. you know, offer, you know, if not the entire group, I, I don't know if I would feel comfortable if anybody leaned in and asked a personal question, yeah. you know. But, you know, maybe, uh, you know, a, a man or a woman might be a member of that group that you might be able to connect with. And, and I know for me personally, I have 
accountability partners and you know which is kind of a modern day version yes. of this yes. but it mm. reaps benefits you know it's sometimes it's not always fun you know to be, but sometimes to be it's call, painful exactly to be yeah. you know yeah. uh you know called out and and yeah. whatnot but it also again like we've talked about in past diving deepers on different topics you kind of see the benefit after you're out of that yes. you know that chapter or that that time season in your life and then yes. you realize okay it's a good thing that i had these these brothers here to help me yes. through it and keep me accountable and so um, i'm glad that we do have our neighborhood groups and definitely encourage those of you watching and i know that we are looking this is a good time to talk about it, you know ex you know expanding that out for our online viewers as well yes. to help make connections so those of you watching online can also be able to do life together i think that's one of the things that we like to talk about here yes. at lakeview is is community and doing life together you know i definitely think you see the benefits of that yes. and speaking of benefits of you know the church body um i know again going back to the roots you know in the really early days you know there was uh doing this kind of resulted in a, in a chain reaction of compassion yes. if you will yes and i guess the thought i had when i heard you mention that was in these you know difficult times that we go through you know and it becomes very easy to be very self-focused not care about your neighbor really do you think that's possible you know um and i know not to get too weighty but even you know if we take stock at, of the modern methodist church right now you know it's going through its own things sure you know is it possible for methodists to once again create that chain reaction of compassion amongst themselves yes i i i believe it is i i think the need for that is immense in our world i mean when we look at, at the shape the world is in right now mm -hmm. and and the, the large scale issues you know, that, that weigh on us all. I mean, a war that is going on between Russia and Ukraine, the challenges around immigration all over the planet mm -hmm. of people who are displaced and trying to find a better life for themselves, the, the, the grinding sense of poverty, the divisiveness, the hatred, the issues around inequality and, and racism. I mean, the, these are large scale issues that, that, that wear down the world, wear down our lives, and, and sometimes are issues of significant oppression in, in people's lives. And so something that can start a chain reaction of compassion is an intriguing thought that, you know, it's, it's one thing to say, well, I, I will do a kind deed. Um, right. but, but to say, we're committed to helping compassion to travel farther. Um, and so can we do some things that help compassion to be passed along and encourage others to do that so that the chain reaction con continues and to say, you know, let, let's be a church that works to nurture that so that the ways in which we, we care for the earth, the ways in which we care for people who are homeless and, and are struggling. I think of how we do our I Help ministry here mm -hmm. every Friday and Saturday night to provide a place of shelter and, and a meal and and at a place of fellowship for, for those who are homeless um, is a way of helping to make a chain reaction of compassion happen. We want to invite others to be a part of that, that story of compassion and to participate in, in an act of compassion that can travel beyond them. Sure, I think it's one, it's good to hear you say it, that you do think it's possible. But two, I, I know I've heard other people say it and it's a great image of you know, ripples. Yes. And, yes. you know, like you said with I Help, you know, that ripples out into our community here locally that we have become known as a church yes. that, you know, supports and, and cares about the homeless population uh, in our community. But, uh, but hopefully those ripples extend further than just here in Arizona right. as well. That's right. And the other things that we do as well. And, and that starts with us as, as members of this church. Right. So. So, sometimes I think we're the stone that God tosses into the pond. That's a good point. Um, but, but sometimes we are the ripple that continues to move to move outwards. And, and God can use us at, at either level for that. But we may be the ripple that keeps traveling out and, and touches others and helps other ripples to happen and to keep moving too. <laughs> Well, that's a great note to end this week's Diving Deeper on. And before we wrap things up, I just want to offer a special note. We're going to be taking a break for the next two Sundays, but we will be back on the last weekend in June to wrap up this sermon series about the John Wesley and the early days of the Methodist Church. And we hope you'll join us then. In the meantime, take care.